the problem is from the legal point of view, and I was a rapporteur for opinion of, on behalf of the League Committee on Legal Affairs and Human Rights, and from the legal uh, point of view, the problem is uh, insufficient regulation of some very important issues. That uh, what uh, artificial intelligence is about. We are speaking about AI, as it says, the professionals call it, uh, when uh, uh, a software uh, can learn itself and to take independent decisions, not uh, predetermined by, by a human, by a programmer. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, we are speaking about artificial intelligence, and this makes it different from other, even very complicated software. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it raises from the legal point of view two questions, actually about uh, subjectivity mm -hmm. of these AI systems. Uh, first, we know a lot of uh, science fiction novels and movies uh, when uh, a computer, a robot, uh, becomes, uh, in a sense, a human. And the question is whether uh, these uh, robots uh, must uh, have rights like humans. But this, uh, this aspect so far still remains exclusively within the domain of, of science fiction. Also, on the contrary, another aspect of the same problem, this, uh, the one of accountability, is already quite topical already. Uh, let's take extreme case, uh, the problem of drones and targeted killings. Uh, this, uh, our assembly has dealt with these issues. Two years ago, we adopted the resolution because when uh, Let's say if a drone has a special program and independently identifies a suspect, a terrorist, and kills him, and afterwards it appears that the artificial intelligence made a mistake, uh, who is accountable for this? And of course, this is a very extreme example, but we can mention a lot of other examples, like, for example, cars without drivers. So what, what is already a reality in, in, in our real life? And what is even my, more widespread case, uh, personal data protection. So if some uh, AI software collects data about you, publishes this data, distributes it, there is no human who gives these orders, and there is no human who, whom you can sue about violation of your privacy. So, so this is why some kind of regulation is needed with this regard. I strongly believe that the existence of AI uh, software is not an excuse. And accountability under any circumstances lies with a human being. We need very clear procedure how to establish this. So this is a very appropriate question for our assembly. It's a question mainly of tomorrow, but to a great extent already for today. And uh, uh, as lawmakers in the field of technologies, uh, we always face this need to, to catch up. So technological development is always ahead. And uh, we must elaborate adequate legislation. It takes time, it requires certain knowledge, it requires serious flexibility, and usually as soon as we have managed to elaborate this legislation, the technolo technological development is again far ahead of us and we have to catch up again. So this is why it is important to coordinate efforts undertaken at the national level, and this is very pertinent issue for discussing in our assembly.